Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to factorize a quadratic with a leading coefficient, in our case, 2. So whatever numbers in front of our x squared is greater than 1. In other words, if you have the standard quadratic equation, so ax squared plus bx plus c, so in our case c is 9, b is 9, and a is 2, it's where a is greater than 1. So when we have this, we can't just factorize it the same way as we would if a was 1. In other words, if we just had x squared plus bx plus c. Now that a is greater than 1, so in our case 2, we have to factorize this a new way. And that way is still by finding two numbers, only now our two numbers are found by finding two numbers that multiply to a times c. So in our case, a is 2 and c is 9. So a times c is 2 times 9, which is 18. So we have to find two numbers that multiply to 18, but those same two numbers have to add to b, which in our case is 9. So let's try to find these two numbers. See if you can pause the video and think of what they are. So those two numbers are 6 and 3. As 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, this next step is also a little different than when we are factorizing for just x squared plus bx plus c. As this step, instead of going straight into our brackets, we have to put these into this equation. So, we have 2x squared, and now we're going to get rid of this middle term and replace it with these two values. As we're not changing anything, as if we have this as 6x and this as 3x, it will always add up to that middle term, which is 9x. So we can replace these, and instead of writing 9x, we're going to write 6x plus 3x. And our last term, 9, or our c value, will stay the same. So here we have just taken these two numbers we have found and replaced it in the middle of our quadratic. Now, for this next step, we want to factorize this in two parts. We want to factorize this first section, and then we want to factorize this second section. So we're factorizing these sections individually. So for this first section, we can see that the greatest common factor is 2x. So if we take 2x out the front, that goes into 2x squared x times, and into 6x three times. And now if we factorize this second section, so 3x plus 9, we can see the greatest common factor is 3. And that goes into 3x x times and into 9 3 times. Now, the key when you reach this step is ensuring that the stuff in the brackets is identical. So the stuff in your first brackets should be exactly the same as the stuff in these brackets over here. And this is a good checking mechanism. If both of these are the same, you know you are doing the problem correctly. These must be the same, what's in these brackets, no matter what the problem is. And for our last step, we have a rule where when you have the stuff in the brackets exactly the same, you can actually take what's right in front of both of those brackets and also put them in a bracket. So in our case, we have 2x plus 3. And then we can combine these brackets into 1, x plus 3. So what we did there is we take what's right before our bracket, and we put that into our bracket. And instead of having this bracket twice, we just put it once. And that's our solution. And you just learned how to factorize when your leading coefficient or your a value is greater than 1. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. See you next time.